Greetings, beautiful people. Welcome to Inspirational Spotlight. Today's inspiration is John Amici. Now, before there was Jason Collins, there was John Amici, who is officially the first professional athlete to come out. And he came out at a time when it really wasn't easy to be publicly gay. So I give a special shout out to John for officially being the first. John has an interesting childhood. Now, his mother... His mother is white and his father is African, and they lived in Boston where he was born, but then they moved to Stockport, England um, when he was a young child, and this is where he was primarily raised, but John had an itching to come back to the States, and with citizenship, he decided to go to high school in Toledo, Ohio, where he played basketball for St. John's Jesuit High School. But when it was time for him to go to college, he ended up playing for Vanderbilt and Penn State. He was immediately drafted to play for the Cleveland Cavaliers when he graduated, where he spent two seasons before leaving the U.S. to play for foreign teams from 1996 to 1999. But then in 1999, Orlando Magic signed him, and in the following year, in the year 2000, he was offered a million-dollar deal to play for the Los Angeles Lakers, but he turned it down. And then a year after that, he landed with the Utah Jazz, where he played there for a few years before he was being before he was traded to the Houston Rockets. It wasn't until 2007, at the point when John wanted to retire, when he came out publicly about being gay. At the same time, he also penned his memoir called Man in the Middle. There were lots of reactions from the public about him being gay, but John handled it eloquently and with certain pride. In many ways, his courage was pivotal to laying the foundation for other athletes to come out. He currently works as a broadcaster and educator. And um, John had this to say about NBA player Jason Collins, who recently came out. Um, And this is important because um, before Jason came out, he, you know, talked about it with John. Anyways, um, John had this to say. He's going to play. I'm confident that he will have another contract to play again in the NBA. The issue of homophobia in sports is rarely rooted in the locker room. That's what people who have never been in a locker room think. But it lives at a higher level in administration. It lives with team owners who speak vociferously about their anti-gay sentiments, who donate large amounts of money to anti-gay organizations. It's about legislation that allows you to be fired in 30 states just for being gay. That's really where it sits, at a much higher level. Teammates, you've already heard the vast majority of people that know Jason, they have played with Jason, have sent just amazing messages to him of support. John Amici, today's Inspirational Spotlight.